In this video we're going to go over updating the TBS Crossfire module itself. Um, you're going to need the micro USB which will fit into that bottom connection um, that you can see on the, di on the uh, picture there. And you're also going to need some software downloading. We'll, we'll, I'll put the link in the description for that. Um, if you already, if you've done all the previous steps, uh, the videos that I've done, this is like a series of how to do the, um, basically make it fully compatible with the um, Tyrannis QX7, um, which includes the signal inverter um, modification, and we'll also get into doing updating the firmware on the Tyrannis and the Lua scripts and stuff like that. That should be the next video. Um, I'll drop a link up the top to the next one which will be doing the firmware on the QX7 and if you haven't done the previous videos I'll put the links up there now for you. Okay so the first thing we need to do is download some software called TBS Agent. Uh, you can find this on Team Black Sheep's website uh, if you go to the Crossfire module product page itself. Um, I'll show you where you can find it. So, this is the Team Black Sheet website, and you can see at the bottom here, uh, I'm scroll up a bit there, TBS Agent. You click that from this website address, and download that, and then you want to install that software. I've already installed it, so I don't need to do it again. And then you want to launch TBS Agent. And we need the module and the USB lead, so we're going to connect that up now. Like, get it in, like so. And you can see the status LED on that ring there. So we're going to check include unstable releases, and you can see there it's downloading firmware updates now. Uh, and in this, uh, I'm not going to use the latest one. I'm going to use the one before that, uh, just because that might be buggy. So, so as a rule of thumb, I always use the previous. So they, they might not have the right fixes out. There might be some problems. As you can see there, current firmware is 2.11. I've already done this. I'm just doing this video now. So you can click that, click update, and you'll see a series of flashes like so. This means that it's currently updating the firmware. And once that's finished, you'll see an LED like this just slowly glowing. And that's the firmware updated. So we're going to pop the module back into the back of the radio now and get the antenna on there. Just careful lining them pins up when you push it in the back. And then pop the antenna on. So yeah, please like um, and subscribe if you want to receive more uh, informative videos on the hobby. And also we'll do a lot of reviews on products um, that we get sent out. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe, hit the like button. Any questions, comment below. And I'll put the link to the next video on the top now.